About three weeks ago, a ship laying fiber optic cable between Honolulu and Sydney hit an obstruction a thousand feet underwater. Cut this cable here clean as a shears. The Navy got interested, sent out a search ship. It turned out that what did it was this. We took this with SLS side looking sonar. This is an aerodynamic fin longer than a football field, bigger than any known wingspan. This is the fuselage. Okay, this is ultra high res SLS bottom scan, came in a week ago. There it is, buried under about eight yards of coral. There's something wrong with that measurement. Pacific coral grows at the rate of about an inch a year. You can set your watch by it. That's right. Yeah, well, so you're saying this spacecraft crashed in the year, uh, 1709. So you're saying the spacecraft crashed 300 years ago? 288. Well, that's impossible. Well, it's not impossible if this spacecraft came to Earth from an alien civilization. Well, well, well what, wait a minute. You, you think this is an alien spacecraft? See, it's not impossible. It's ridiculous. We think there's an unknown life form on this spacecraft, and that's why you're here. You are the human contact team that was recommended in the Goodman Report. We have a biochemist to assess the physiology of the unknown life form. We have a mathematician, because that'll probably be our common language. And we have an astrophysicist to locate its place in the cosmos. Led by a psychologist. That's right. So that's what the little green men are saying nowadays? Take me to your therapist? Mm-hmm. Listen up. Contact teams meeting an unknown life form, or ULF, must be prepared for severe psychological impact. Stress reaction when confronted by unknown life has not been sufficiently studied and cannot be entirely predicted in advance. But the most likely consequence of contact is absolute terror. That's from Norman's report. I'm sorry, are these parameters correct? Yep. So you're saying that you have a fuselage from a spacecraft over a half a mile long that crashed into the ocean 300 years ago and is completely intact? That's right. And the kicker is our sonar is picking up a low-level hum. Something's still running inside. Hold on a second. There's no way this coral could have grown faster than an inch a year? No. Well, that's what we're going down there to see, isn't it? What? Who says we're going down there? <laughs> Harry, that's a joke, right? I mean, you're kidding. This is the greatest uh, scientific discovery since Copernicus. It's bigger than Copernicus. The idea that we're not alone, it'll change everything. We have physical evidence that there's extraterrestrial life. You don't want to see that? Well, I got to say, I resent this briefing very much. Oh, Jesus. And how's that, Harry? If Norman's report calls for a biologist, a mathematician, an astrophysicist, and a psychologist, then why are you here?